Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, November the 10th, entitled, The Same Mouth? Seriously? Now, when we talk about the same mouth, what we're referring to is something that James said when he was talking about the uh, inconsistency in what we say. And in James 3, 10 through 11, it says, Out of the same mouth come both praising and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Now, obviously, the mouth can have both fresh water and stale water, salt water. It can have both praising and cursing. It shouldn't be that way, but it certainly is the reality of the human condition. As we talked about Sunday morning, we want to get to a place to where anytime our mouth is inconsistent, we recognize it. And that's really the thing. We want to take responsibility for it. We want to realize there is an inconsistency in me, and it's got to be coming from something in me that if I'm truly a healthy person, then most everything out of my mouth ought to be healthy. If there's stuff that's unhealthy coming out of my mouth, there's still something I need to be healed of or an area of, of uh, prejudice or an area of dysfunction somewhere in there because out of the abundance of my heart, my mouth is speaking. So if there's both praising and cursing, if there's fresh water and then there's this uh, salt water coming out of the same spring, we know it's being fed by two different things. That doesn't happen naturally. And so here it is. He's, he's just making a, a plea to go, if there's inconsistency in what is coming out of my mouth, then there's still work to be done. I need to recognize it. I need to take responsibility for it. And then... I need to begin to do the things that create the health in life so that there is a consistency in what I say, in what I do. I have found that if I, the first step, which is what we're talking about today, is to recognize when there is that inconsistency in the way that I speak, in the way that I address people, in the area where blessing and cursing are both happening out of my mouth. Recognize it. And then say, God, show me where the root of that is. Show me where that hurt or that wound or that anger or that frustration or that bitterness is uh, triggering in my life to cause me to say these kind of things. Begin to pray, and I believe God will show you where the root of that is, where that hurt is or where that wound is or where that anger is or where that bitterness has set in. And then begin to pray, God, heal that in my life. I don't want that to continue to be a source of, of what comes out of me. So let's pray. Father, Lord, as we start here on Monday and we go, if there's inconsistency, if there's both cursing and praising coming out of my mouth, show me where that inconsistency is coming from. Show me where that hurt or that wound is. And Lord, as we begin to pray, I just expect for every person that honestly wants to know that you'll show us where that is. You'll show us where the root of that is in our life. And then as we pray for you to heal whatever would be unhealthy, that Lord, uh, you will begin to take us on that process. Make us new. You said that you caused everything to become new. Old things passed away. And so Lord, we look for you to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. If there's inconsistency, ask God where the root of that is. Pray and just think and be still and be quiet and go, where is that coming from? Where is that root? See what God does. I'll see you tomorrow.